Well, I hope you're having a good week and that your new year is off to a great start. And um, I <clears throat> had a, a wonderful service on Sunday. Enjoyed it tremendously. The music, um, uh, just the uh, spirit. And I uh, had to uh, had the privilege to gather around the Lord's Supper table and um, just enjoyed the whole service on Sunday. And we hope that you're able to make it in this Sunday. If you're healthy and able to come in, um, we would love to see you this coming Sunday. Um, I thought we would start out with verses that are very well known to us. Um, it comes from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. As we start the new year, the idea of trusting the Lord, um, I think is an important uh, aspect of the word of God that we need to cling to right now. Um, you know, just today we had people breaking into the Capitol building, somebody getting shot, uh, protesting the election. And, um, you know, it is perfectly acceptable to protest peacefully in the United States of America, but to uh, break into the Capitol building and threaten people, that sort of thing, um, just has no place in civilized society. And I'm disappointed where our country is at politically and uh, we're definitely where we're at spiritually. But the fact is we can trust the Lord, no matter who the president is, no matter who has control of the House and Senate, and uh, whether your governor is a Democrat or a Republican or a conservative or a liberal, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and we can trust in him. It goes all the way back to the first verse in the Bible, in the beginning, God. God was there at the beginning. He's been there ever since. He's here now. Um, he is worthy of our trust. He's the same yesterday, today, forever. He is immutable. He is unchangeable. That is the God that we serve. And he is worthy of our trust. He is trustworthy. And so I pray that our trust is truly in him. Proverbs also says that um, the fear of man is a snare. But to the person that puts their trust in God, they're safe. So if you're going to fear and live in fear about what men can do, then you're not going to live in the safety, spiritually um, speaking, the safety that God has for you. You're going to move with whatever wind of doctrine. Um, <clears throat> if, if people can change your mind easily, you're not trusting in the Lord. And so if, if you're consumed with worry and fear and doubt and dread, then you're not obeying Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's an understood you. You trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will. This is his promise. If you do this, this is what I promise you. I'll direct your paths in every area of your life if you'll just simply trust me. If we don't trust the first verse of the Bible, how can we trust anything that comes after it? If we don't believe in the beginning God, how can we believe in anything that comes after it? Throughout my ministry, I have, I've had people say to me, well, I believe in evolution. I'm a Christian, but I believe in evolution. So you don't believe the first verse of the Bible? No, I don't really believe in the Old Testament. I believe in the New Testament. Okay, in the New Testament, in John, in the beginning was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And they will pass that off to hold on to a theory that a wicked man came up with to do away with God. This is what they will say. We'll trust the science. Well, science is on our side as well. So trust in God in all your ways. Acknowledge him in everything that you do. He'll direct your paths. If you can believe in Genesis 1-1, you can believe everything that comes after it because he is a God that is worthy of our trust. So as you start this new year, 
Make a vow to God, I am just going to trust you in every area of my life. Just a few prayer requests for you. Um, please remember to pray for the Lloyd Weatherly uh, family as Lloyd has passed away. Um, Bonnie Hughes had a student pass away and um, just a young man. And um, we'd ask you to pray for Bonnie as she is helping with the counseling. Pray for the family. Uh, the school, uh, all of that. So please pray for them. The Barkers, um, Aaron and Molly had a, um, it, it is their brother-in-law's brother pass away as well. And um, uh, we'd ask you to pray for that family as well. Pray for Elaine uh, as she continues to heal from her surgery. And Mike Saul as he's um, healing from his shoulder surgery. Uh, so please remember to pray for these things throughout the week. And please know that we're praying for you as well. Father, we are so grateful that we can take our lives and just trust you with them. That you have a perfect will for our lives. That nothing escapes you. That you know fully what you are doing. And we can trust in that. Lord, I ask today that you would be with Lloyd's family right now, his children and grandchildren, um, his brother and so many that uh, he has impacted over his life. And we thank you that he is with you today. Our prayer is not for him, for he is whole, but our prayer is for his family who are missing their loved one. Uh, we also pray for Bonnie and the situation with the student there who passed away and um, she's helping with counseling and different things in the school. Um, I pray that you'd be with this young person's family. Um, if they do not know you, would you use this to draw them to you? Be with um, Aaron and Molly's uh, brother-in-law's brother, his family, Lord. And um, I, I'm almost positive that they said that he knew Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And that is the case. And he is with you today. And we thank you for that. Um, if there's family members there that may not know you, may they come to know you as well. Lord, we pray, Lord, we pray for um, Mike and for Aline and just ask for healing in their bodies that um, they'd be able to get up and around very soon and uh, just ask that you would give them grace as well. We thank you for our church, Lord, the people in it, those that faithfully serve you and give so that uh, the work here may continue. Um, I pray that the service Sunday would honor and glorify you and be in the business meeting as we have that after the service. We just thank you and praise you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Hey, thanks for viewing today, and we will see you next Wednesday.